Hi everybody, this is Masa. So today I want to talk about how I used to be unable to express myself. Um, yeah, I think I can, I can say that I was pretty much unable to do it. But before that, I want to tell you what I'm doing right now. Currently, I'm directing a play. This is the annual play of our school and our school used to have a dedicated drama teacher and he used to direct this play and he had, he had been doing it for a few months inten intensively but he resigned. He resigned I think like two weeks before, uh, two weeks ago and I became the director and it's, man, it's so difficult, it's heck of a job. There's so much to do and I'm making so many mistakes. In fact, today I made a mistake of renting the wrong kind of microphones and totally jeopardizing our precious, precious rehearsal time. I mean, today is the day before the show. It's tomorrow, by the way. <laughs> um, if you're in Islamabad, please um, come to PNCA at 7. So it felt miserable today because it's obviously my mistake and I and another person who is who is like the music kind of person we took the blame and it felt so bad but the nice thing is and it's amazing kids didn't blame me for that not particularly they were still enjoying as if <laughs> as if nothing happened and when I saw their smile it was it was worth it, you know. Um, it was worth it. I don't, I don't know. I don't know how much interaction you have with with the teenagers or younger kids, but they're just su such a such beautiful people, and I'm so I'm so grateful I work with them. So um, I have been watching them practice in this play for a few months and I think they are overcoming their own difficulties in expressing themselves. Um, when I was five, I was in the kindergarten, I was in KZ, and I pooped in my pants. Have you pooped in your pants? You probably haven't, right? People usually don't. I have, and I have pooped in my pants probably a few times. There was um, the first time that happened was during during an assembly. I wanted to go and poop, but somehow I thought some, somehow I was so afraid of doing that because a you have to stand up, right? <laughs> Everybody's sitting down for the assembly. That's how our kindergarten conducted our assemblies. So. I was sitting down with hundreds of other kids. I don't know how many kids, but a lot of kids. So you would have to stand up and walk to the class teacher and say, you want to go to the toilet and go to the toilet. You know, when you do that, your the attention of the entire, uh, uh, attention of the people will gather at you, right? People, people will stare at you and people will pay a lot of attention on you and you go to the toilet and when you poop, it takes a little longer, right? Than, than when you pee. And when you, when you come back, people will figure out that you are pooping, right? By kind of calculating, the measuring how much time you spent there. And I just couldn't stand it. I don't, I don't know. I don't know why. But I couldn't stand it. I was like, damn, people will think I was pooping. So I decided to hold it. But this stupid assembly went on forever. And the next thing you know, this poop was coming out of my ass. <laughs> and it was fucking embarrassing. Because you could smell it and you could see it. And it's as though I invented this whole performance art genre of live pooping, you know, I pooped for everybody to see live. So in hindsight, it was much better to just stand up and say, I want to go to the toilet and go poop and come back. And if, if anyone asks you 
if you were pooping or not, you could have just said, yeah, I was pooping. It doesn't matter. It doesn't hurt your reputation. It doesn't degrade you. It doesn't humiliate you. It shouldn't. Everybody poops. But because I was so、um, intolerant of these things, the, these I, I, I don't really know how to put this, but because I couldn't tolerate this, these normal things, I ended up accepting much, much worse consequence. See? So I learned a lot of lessons from these events. Remember, this was not just once. I had to repeat it a few times for me to, for me to really, really understand the, the essence of this lesson. But I learned it. Because I'm not pooping anymore. I mean, I am pooping, but I'm not pooping in my pants anymore.、Um, and I think the way I did it over the years was to kind of force myself or encourage myself to do things in front of people while being、uh, watched or while being heard. So I guess the message of this video is you can grow out of something if you want to grow out of it. <laughs> Damn, what a video. Thank you for watching. And I'm sorry if you were eating something and I totally jeopardized your、um, meal time. I'm so sorry. <laughs>